Hi, John Halverson here with Prayer Walk America. We are now at day 135, 135 days on the road. That's a long time, and I'm at mile 1397. Almost two, well, not 2,000 miles, almost 1,400 miles. Um, I want to say this, the, there have been challenges. Um, some real stretching has been going on. One, it's been very, very hot. And two, for various reasons, um, there's been a series of days where I've gotten very little sleep. And I was concerned, how am I going to handle the heat? How am I going to handle walking 16 miles a day with very little sleep? And I'm learning to trust the Lord. The Bible says, clearly, uh, those who trust the Lord can do exploits. And it also says that we can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. And I have been really thrown under the mercy of God. It's like, God, how am I going to walk in this heat and without sleep? And the mercies of God, the grace of God, has been my sufficiency. I, I've been able to do what I don't think I could probably do, humanly speaking. God is able to bring us through anything. There is really no pressure that can be applied that's greater than the Spirit of God and His pressure within us. Greater is He who is in us than He who is in the world. You know, I've preached these concepts for years, but to have to walk them out is another thing. So to wake up in the morning and feel, you know, feel weak, fatigued, concerned about the heat, which has been intense, and then to find that God's grace is our sufficiency has been a wonderful thing. So Prayer Walk America is teaching me a lot, I'll tell you, about personal trust in the Lord Jesus. But also we're believing for an awakening that is going to really defeat the works of the devil. And coming into um, Missouri, uh, we encountered an incredible stiff headwind. Um, it was almost unbelievable. There's a town called Springfield, Missouri, and I really do believe revival is about to break out there, by the way. But um, I felt the Lord was saying, I am coming to defeat the works of the devil. I am coming to defeat the works of the devil. And I think that's going to be nationwide. God is going to literally turn on its head perversion, stuff that's been twisted and corrupted and perverted over the years. God is going to turn on its head. Now, there's going to be resistance to that, demonic resistance. The Lord does... The Lord wants to set the captive free. The devil wants to keep people in captivity. So you're going to encounter tremendous spiritual resistance. And I believe God is now raising up a church that can that can forcefully begin to proclaim the promises of God and to intercede and to pray and all of that. I guess we call that spiritual warfare. Anyway, it's been an intense couple of weeks. It's been wonderful. We're now heading towards Kansas City and pretty soon we'll actually be at the heartland of America, the very geographical center of our country. It's pretty amazing. Now I want to introduce a friend of mine that we met on the road during the last walk from Los Angeles to New York. This is um, Stephen Hope and he's one of these cross carriers. The men you've heard about like Arthur Blessed who carries the cross down the road and they use it as an evangelistic tool. That's what he does and so I think he may have a thing or two to say. Well I just wanted to show you this an appeal to heaven and I know that there's a history behind this but I don't know the history. So if we have time, Sandy might tell you a little bit about the history of an appeal to heaven. And also it's because we just ate, so I'm covering my belly up. And uh, that's probably a little vain thing I'm doing here. But uh, I wanted to tell you that walking with the cross or walking and praying for this nation like John and Sandy are doing is uh, an amazing privilege. And God has called us to do it. We've been able to answer that call. But we couldn't do it without fellow supporters. You people who are our brothers and sisters in Christ and you watch these videos and you pray for us and you think about us being out here in the heat or the cold, whichever it is, um, you're, you're really our, our backbone in that. And then God's given you words of encouragement to give to us through Facebook, through telephone calls and um, through just um, amazing things that God does in our lives where we get to meet our brothers and sisters. So I guess maybe together we have, uh, I don't know, 40 or 50 nations that might, people of nations that might somehow watch these videos. And then who knows, thousands of people that uh, eventually as they're shared, and we would like for you to share the video, are um, sharing these videos about um, pilgrims out in America praying for America day by day by day and this is where God brings change 
um, and, and unity to, the, to America. So that's what's happening. One day we're gonna get to see it in a bigger sense when revival breaks out all over the place. And it's revival of a third awakening. And we're all looking forward to that. So I just wanna thank you guys again. Uh, it was a privilege for me to get to be with uh, John and Sandy. And uh, we're calling this our chuck wagon because we, uh, a while ago we had the George Foreman grill out here and we were making steaks and cooking them to everybody's liking, whether it be medium rare or rare or well done. And then we enjoyed a fine time of fellowship and communion. And that's the way it should be done with uh, our brothers and sisters in Christ. Wherever you go, uh, enjoy fellowship together, encourage each other, pray for each other, enjoy some wonderful food together, and um, God will show you the joys of life. The abundant life that Jesus promised when he said, the enemy comes to steal, kill, and destroy, but I have come to give you life and that more abundantly, that's Jesus. And he, he does it for us. So thank you guys for tuning in. We love you. Amen. Yeah, thank you, Stephen. And, and by the way, if any of you watching would like to walk with us, um, you can go to our website, which is prayerwalkamerica.com, and you'll find somewhere embedded there a map. Uh, I think it's under the banner, Where is John? And um, it would be great. I mean, I am really, really desirous of having folks come out and maybe walk for half a day, maybe a day. Yeah. I don't know, but um, I think you would find that a, a great experience. I think you really would. So give it a thought anyway. So I just want to say God bless, and we'll see you soon. Bye.